How you doing everybody? This is PND51010 and today we're going to be looking at footage of Drudvel and Belkis deck. Almost unrecognizable here in this frame. But uh, before we go any further I would like to thank Azul303, a subscriber of mine, for reminding me of this footage. Uh, I found it a while back. I remember viewing it and recognizing the shape shifting but another video had came along and taken my attention so he reminded me of this video and I would like to thank him because if he didn't, I probably wouldn't be making this video right here. And this is some very significant shape shifting on uh, Mr. Drudval here. But before we get into this any further, too, I would also like to say that uh, you know these new age gurus, George Kavasilis and Drudval Melky's deck here, their followers or their viewers, whatever you like to call them, really display the tenets and attributes of someone who's fallen victim to these beings tactics in that when they convey their truth they you know they use the tactic of conveying a certain amount of truth in order to resonate with the individual and gain their trust and uh, they'll usually take that trust and that resonance and abuse it somewhere somewhere down the road in that like now with George Cavaslis you know he's conveyed a lot of truth in the past and now in one of his videos he's saying that the pineal gland is a biological implant and that the chakra body is also some type of synthetic overlay I mean it's just outrageous the you know they're really amping up their uh they're bullshit here. And even shape-shifting aside in this video, if you have the zen-like patience to be able to sit through this video and listen to Drun Val here, this is just made up on the fly. This is just ridic ridiculous. I felt bad for this being. I really did because it was just embarrassing. Even Lilu Mace here, who's a shape-shifter herself, looks like she's just starting to lose track. It's just, it's made up on the fly. If you watch his body, body language, and this is, put the shape-shifting aside too. If you watch his body language, the stall tactics that he uses in that, you know, the coughing and all the stupid little bullshit that he that he does to to think up more stuff. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So we're gonna get into this because we don't get that much time. But uh Yeah, he's just they're really starting to amp up their bullshit here. But uh we're gonna go to the beginning of this shift so we can see it frame by frame and see how it progresses into uh... it's about sixteen seconds and I'll be putting the description but uh, I'll be putting the source video in the description box as well so let me just get to this bit with me here Okay. It should be coming out right now. And the transformation too, the discoloration in the skin and the the disproportion of the proportions of the of the of the facial features just become completely distorted. It's just it almost looks like uh I have a video of Jeff Peckman. No, I forgot the title of it, but it's in. I'll put it in the description box as well, so you can see and compare. But here's the the shift, and you can see his eye shifts like completely up into his forehead region. You see, see how there's like two eyes. It's very strange, but I think that's the masking program starting to kick in. I think when he shifted, it messed up and is trying to apply. It's trying to apply a mask over the part that's shifting, and you'll see how bad it gets. See the discoloration in the eye really starts to get severe here. It gets like a purplish color, and also in the mouth area here, you can see how this looks like his teeth, what was left of his teeth. I guess that's the mask program trying to compensate for the shifting, but here you can see the lip how big it's become
this is uh you know we see some pretty advanced stages of morphing here of transformation and also too if you watch the video as he's shifting here Lilu Mace who's a shapeshifter as well reaches as if to type maybe a message or something to warn him or to let him know as if he's not aware of himself already but you could see her react as this is happening here you could see in the eye regions and in the mouth region look at the lip how it's become white and just extremely large I mean, when I make these videos in the comment section, a lot of John Vello's followers, viewers come along and put shame on me for doing this to such a kind man. But I mean, I don't even think he's a man. He's operating under a false pretense which implies deception. If you're saying you're a human and then we find out that you're not, it would be one thing to, uh, to say you're, a, you know, a shapeshifter, <laughs> it wouldn't be so far-fetched from any of the other material that these these uh, individuals are conveying. But look at the lip here; we can see that it's become completely, almost completely transformed. And also look at the neck part; gives new meaning to the term turkey neck. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Let me move this. Look at the eye here too. Look how discolored it's become. Look at it in comparison to the other one. And look at the nose frame here too. Look at how. Look at the outline of it. Alright, let's go a little further here. And uh, I'm going to put the times of some frames because we probably won't have time to get into it. But I'm going to put some of the times where he uh, does some pretty interesting tongue movements. And uh, they're interesting enough to, to view and take note of. So we're probably not going to have time. So I'll put them in the description box as well for you. So you can view them. But uh, I strongly encourage for anybody who's a... For anybody who's a... A follower or has listened to John Vallo and resonated with him to watch this video and just to shape shifting aside, just watch his like I said before, watch his body language and his mannerisms and just listen. It's bullshit. He's making it up on the fly and it's just it's embarrassing. It really is. Now look at the mouth here, we could see it's like become whitish underneath the teeth. And the eyes are extremely discolored here again. The nose is nowhere near normal. And like some people would say, oh look, his shirt is morphing too. I mean, it's attached to his body. There's got to be some type of residual morphing. Or I would imagine, you know, I have no idea what type of program is in effect here. Or what, what the details of of it are I really don't know or how it affects clothing or inanimate objects but I know that this isn't normal and this isn't it, it, it's not due to any type of pixelation or video artifacts I just don't see how they can be the products that claws very distinctly defined claws and fangs can be the products of, of those type of video deficiencies I just can't see it sorry about that Here we can see, you can also see the facial structure morph too. And that at times the skull becomes very, it's hard to describe, very enlarged in the top. It becomes wide and then narrow. But you'll see at the end of this bout of shifting, 
it just snaps back as if the program resets and he fixes himself. He fixes himself, or maybe Lilu had something to do with it too. Because if you watch, like I said before, she reaches for something and it kind of adjusts and eventually fixes itself. So, like I said, there's a level of awareness on the on the parts of the individuals where the shifting is taking place, and the you know individuals involved. There's a level of awareness that adds that corroborates to this evidence, you know, it adds it adds credence to it. Like in the George Cavastas video when his hand shifts and you see the distinctly defined claw on his finger, on his thumb, and he looks down at it seconds after. Or the uh the video that I found of uh undeniable shape undeniable shapeshifter proof it's called. And uh the anomaly starts to occur underneath the individual's eye and he touches it and it goes away. I mean, the, the level of awareness is... I mean, to deny that and to overlook that and to say that it's, you know, video deficiencies is just an excuse to not accept anything foreign to what you've come to believe. You don't want your, your truth disrupted. You're content with your stagnant worldview. You don't want it challenged in any way. Look at his eye here. It's become very dark. Look at those eyes. I mean, I, I would not trust anything that's coming out of this guy's mouth. I mean, I sat through and watched this video, and I was just like, oh my god. This guy is just failing horribly. Struggling to to make something up talking about plasma beings I mean in the beginning he's you know he starts out alright you know but then he just wanders off into some region I mean it's just complete and utter bullshit look at the discoloration in the eyes here again it's been predominantly in this eye throughout the course of this shifting now I want you to look at the neck too here. Look at how distorted it's become and how it's merged with the bottom part of his chin. Look at the transformation in the in the chin area too. You can see as if the the human skin has been like torn away and there's like a piece missing, see? Like in this region. And then here we can see sort of I guess the reptilian jaw. In the lip region too. I wish I had a better camera. I'm, I'm saving. Up. I, money's been really tight. It's hard. Excuse me. It's hard for me to get a camera that's decent HD. That's not, you know, under four hundred dollars. If you guys have any suggestions of good cheap HD cameras, you know, please. I'll be happy to take your suggestions. We're going to fly through this here because we don't have that much time. I apologize for my rants and my blabbering. I just get carried away sometimes. I know we should be focusing on the shifting. We see that left eye again starting to flux very heavily and also in the bottom part of the neck and jawline too as well as I pointed out before. Also take note of the nose. We got one more minute left and we're going to fly through it. But uh, like I said, I'll be putting all that information in the source video and the other times of the shifts in the description box for you to view. Like I said before, again, I stress you watching this video so you can see how full of shit this individual is. Right here, we're going to play it so in real time so you can see it snap back. Really care? Be well and be at peace, everyone.